Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another Vlogmas video. I'm out and about the shops today and thought I would take you along with my shop at m and Food Hall to check out the Festival Friends because we all know nobody does Christmas food as well as m and So I'm so excited to see what we can find in store today. It literally starts as soon as we walk in the store. They have the Christmas chocolates out, they have the m and Belgian collection and then the milk dark and white chocolate biscuit collection, which is actually only four pounds. And then I've just spotted out of the corner of my eye, the Christmas food catalog, which I'm absolutely going to grab. So here in m and they have the Sparks Advent Calendar, so the 12 days of Christmas, um, which you scan and use with the app for special offers, I believe. So that looks quite interesting. It's not started just yet, as I'm pre-recording this vlog and it's still November, but that'll certainly be a good thing to look into if you come in early December. So first of all, I've come across the Christmas plants. They have like amaryllis and Christmas twigs. They even have like a Christmassy Percy over there with a cactus and his little hat, which is very cute. That turkey is hilarious. And the donkey there, they're 12 pounds. Even these little Christmas trees with the wooden reindeers, they're really, really cute. And they're only 15 pounds as well, which isn't too bad for a little tree, really. There's a little Percy tree as well. Oh my goodness. That's the cutest thing ever. Lots more Christmas biscuits and chocolates, including these tr truffles, which look so, so lovely. We have some advent calendars, a Colin the Caterpillar one, which looks cool. It's shaped like the cake. That's £10. Um, I don't want to pick it up to see what's inside. Oh, there we go. Look, it's got little white chocolate Collins in there, which is a really cute idea. Lots of shortbread, which I'm sure is delicious. More truffles and lots of different types of biscuits as well. And liqueurs as well, which are only actually £2.50 for that box. So I've come across this large display of snow globe gin liqueurs or liquors, is it liquors or liqueurs? I literally don't know. They're 20 pounds, one is clementine flavored and one is spiced sugar plum or both. I don't drink gin personally, but I know a lot of people are into the gin and all the different flavors. So I imagine they're a really nice festive way to put a bit of a spin on your gin. <laughs> Got the classic panettone cake here for 10 pounds, which comes in this nice, posh box and then the Christmas card selection is back here as well as some crackers which are luxury dinner party crackers containing M&S cocktail, nice, a hat, a joke and a conversation starter. They're actually really nice. There's six of those in there for £30 but if you've got a bit of a smaller family or if it's an adult based Christmas then they could be really nice actually. Of course there is a Percy and Colin section here with little Christmas cards which I am actually going to grab for Paisley to give out to her class friends. There's 30 cards in there so that should definitely be enough for everybody in the class and they also have the Percy crackers and wrapping paper as well. For Christmas cards these ones are for charity and the designs are actually very nice as well. I like these ones. Top of the naughty list, top of the nice list. Guys, I've just struck gold because I found the party food and it's all on four for the price of three. And some of these items, let me tell you, look absolutely delicious. So we have lots of different types of prawns, pulled beef and porcini tartlets, mini beef wellingtons, which look very posh, some pork belly, duck croquettes, more prawns, vegetable and prawn dim sum selection, which is quite different, isn't it? Uh, oriental taster selection, so lots of different bits in there. Posh cheesy beans on toast, so I've actually seen these on the advert or online. I've seen them somewhere, but they're very cute. I don't like beans on toast personally, but Paisley does, and I think she would like those because they do look adorable. Tangy Brink cranberry tartlets. I would choose them if I was selecting my potty food right now. Classic potato skins, succulent mini chicken Kievs, more prawns, spring rolls, chorizo pigs in blankets. That would be my second choice. I love chorizo and they're something a bit different as well to try. Battered mini sausages, chip shop style. 
be beef burger spring rolls. Ooh, like Magic Kingdom. They're definitely something to try if you enjoy the cheeseburger spring rolls over at the Magic Kingdom. I've heard a lot of people like those. Again, I don't eat beef myself, so I don't know, but certainly something to look into. Mini pies, what flavors are those? So you have chicken, smoked bacon and leek and steak and ale in there. They're cute as well. A Tex-Mex selection pack, which I would have as my third choice, I think. And then Mega Moorish Mini Toad in the Holes, which would be choice number four. They look lovely. These all look so, so nice. And now I feel super hungry. <laughs> Just sound the Christmas cheeses, because what is Christmas without cheese? And there's so many different varieties. I love that little Christmas jumper. That's Red Leicester. And then the green one is Cheddar. It's a cranberry and orange Wensleydale, which I am going to grab because Wensleydale is my favourite. Oh goodness, that's that's huge. So that's 300 grams of cheese there for £4.50. I've had cranberry and orange before, but not together. So that will be interesting to try. They have the normal mature cheddar, cranberry waxed truckle, Welsh rabbit, and lots and lots of different variations there, all with the Christmas packaging. Those are cute. Cheese snowflakes with creamy Lancashire cheeses with dried cranberry and apricots. Yum. Christmas ham. So you just love a Christmas ham. Like that one is spiced marmalade with sticky orange and ginger glaze. Yum. They have the smaller ones, Spanish ham, and then a really little mini roast ham, which would probably be enough for us really, because there's only um, a few of us in the household. We're a very small family. And then they have this one down here, roasted duroc ham. I don't know if that's how you say that, duroc ham, with an orange glaze, which looks very posh indeed. And I think that one is actually, is that 40 pounds? Oh no, okay. And just over in the fridges as well, we have like the charcuterie boards. So we have an Italian cooked meat selection. Rob would love these. An antipasti platter. Prosciutto, I never know if I'm saying that right either. So just ignore me guys. I've have terrible pronunciation. Spanish selection, black garlic chorizo. That sounds absolutely lovely. You've got your pates over here, uh, roasted mushroom, chicken liver, duck liver. Not my cup of tea, but I do know some people love it. And lots of little pates in jars as well. We've got all the nuts, um, figs as well. That little guy is very cute, Stanley the Squirrel. Can't say I've ever seen him before, but lots of walnuts, even a box there, which includes the Nutcracker. Gift packs of nuts, all the nuts. There's a lot of nice Christmassy like jars and like dried goods. So, mold wine syrup, wowza, fruits in alcohol, pears in white port, Spiced plum and ginger chutney, chili jam with pepper, cranberry port sauce, that sounds nice. Hot chocolate, oh my goodness, chocolate hazelnut cream, that looks insanely good. Not for my waistline, but very yummy. There's this big gift box here, the Yuletide Christmas gift box, which is £40 and includes lots of different like treats. I think there's a bottle of wine in there, some nuts, it looks like there's a Christmas cake as well and then Christmas coffee and chocolate flakes and things for nice warm Christmassy drinks there as well. Here we go guys, it's the tagline. This is not just food, this is M&S Christmas food. And man, does it all look so, so good. Christmas type crisps and like chip dipping snacks. So we have, oh, salt and black pepper combo, just a ready salted combo, a turkey feast combo, gingerbread snowflake pretzels they sound very interesting and dark chocolate chili tortilla crisps again very interesting not for me i'm the most basic and bland of eaters that you will ever experience but if you like to try something new they could be fun we've got giant salted pretzels which are like the normal pretzels and then um, standard potato sticks rings and cheese and chive pretzels as well the more posh crisps uh, turkey and trimmings flavour and pigs in blankets as well. It'd be quite interesting to try those. I might grab a packet of the turkey ones to try. I imagine they're quite similar to like the Sensations chicken and thyme but 
let's give them a go and they are one pound 75 larger percy pig advent calendar here which is only five pounds so not too bad at all and it's got percy shaped milk chocolates in and then a bag of percy's which must be the last door. Paisley doesn't actually like Percy Pig, so I would definitely get her that because it's really cute. Just pop around to have a look at the wines. I know wines aren't just for Christmas, wines are for all the time, but some of my favorite wines are actually here at M&S Foods. So I'm just gonna have a look and see if any of those are on offer and perhaps pick one up to put away for the Christmas period as like a treat because they are a bit more expensive than the wines that I would usually drink off a weekend. So my favorite white wine is the Sauvignon Blanc. I like a New Zealand uh, Marlborough one, which they do have lots of different variations of in here. So I haven't tried this one before, but that does look nice. The m &S Classic, number 39 from 2020 and my favorite one is this craft three but the sauvignon version which i can't actually see right now but that one is delicious i had it a lot over the summer with barbecues oh there we go here we go craft three sauvignon from new zealand 11 pounds yes please lots and lots and lots of sparkling wines and proseccos here as well these bottles are nice i love the rose one it's like a shimmering metallic bottle which looks very nice and festive and then all of these different sparkling wines these great big magnums as well and that m s prosecco is actually only 18 pounds which is very very reasonable i imagine it's really yummy they've got the bucks fizz which is uh, very popular over christmas isn't it and that's three pounds there's also a clementine and cranberry bucks fizz which looks interesting that one's four pounds it's actually on offer at the moment okay is that half the price oh no save a third so it's six pounds but at the moment it's down to four so have a christmas themed bakery item so there's santa's yum nuts up here a rudolph donut a sticky toffee muffin they look really yummy. traditional mince pies and christmas puds a christmas cake fruit cake spice sticky toffee christmas pudding that sounds nicer than a usual christmas pudding these little houses would make a lovely gift for like a secret center or something so they light up that one's a shortbread as is that one but a different flavor they have them with tea inside for four pounds there and oh this one's musical that one has gingerbread men in but they're very nice i remember they did a similar house style box of Halloween goodies as well back in October. A specific Percy area. So we even have Percymus pies. Pastry fields with a layer of fruity filling, Percy flavour sponge, fondant, icing, and the Percy sweet. They're nice, they're an alternative because I don't actually like mince pies so they could be something really good to try over Christmas. There's the chocolate corn board there with popcorn and things as well. A melting chocolate percy filled with marshmallows for hot chocolates. A little tin that's filled off with biscuits. The usual Percymus candies there, which is the usual Percy pigs, but with Santa hats, which are very yummy, and I'm going to have to try and resist buying. And then a musical rotating tin as well there, which I imagine has got biscuits. Oh no, it's full of sweets full of Percy pig sweets that makes absolute sense speaking of Percy we have the Christmas plush as well which has got the year there on his ear and his name Percy pig he's really cute I can't see how much he costs but he's very very cute and looks super soft as well Christmas cheer on the go section which is like your usual grab and go sandwiches but obviously Christmas themed and a lot of them are on yellow sticker as it's a Sunday afternoon and I guess it's closing soon there's smoked salmon and cream cheese turkey feast that sounds very nice oh goodness turkey bacon and cranberry sausage roll which sounds delicious some macaroons a prawn cocktail diet pink cranberry sparkling lemonade yummy the gluten-free turkey option and mince pies so what shall i grab because i am very hungry now so i've just finished up at MS food hall some lovely lovely christmas items in there and it's all so so yummy it's made me very very hungry walking around the store i have picked up some early bits to put away for christmas time but i will definitely be back the closer we get to christmas for more like snacky bits and like stuff that's too early to buy right now because of 
dates on the items. Also gonna have a flick through the food catalogue when I get home because I just, I love a food catalogue, mate. I'll just sit and look at all the pictures of food and, and dream. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you real soon.